What I'm seeing right now is the combination of bands and DJs. Uh, I, I see that because the band gives you the very, uh, the nice entertainment aspect of, uh, of the wedding. Something people can see, something people can look at. But when it gets to the real current music and some of the hip hop and some of the, you know, the, the techno music, you really can't get it with a band. And so a DJ is, is a great option to have in combination with the bands. I'll kind of give you an idea of a typical wedding, which we, what we might do. Uh, and this we might be considering when we're using a band. And I'll give you another one when we're using a disc jockey. They play the ceremony, they can play light classical, they can play any kind of ethics style music you like. And then that same group will go to the cocktail hour. And that flute player will now plays saxophone. So now you have guitar and sax, which is a really nice, cool jazz sound for the cocktail hour. But after that dance set, that's when we see the DJs coming in. Uh, coming in with the music that, that, that might be the more of the hip-hop or more of the, you know, things that wouldn't be appropriate for bands to play. Even if the party planner gives us one of theirs, which we really welcome and love, we still take theirs and we turn it into ours, because our musicians are used to looking at a certain format in a certain way. We need the phonetic spelling of people's names. Sometimes it says toast at this time, but of course we need to know who's toasting, who we're introducing after. We're not a photography company, we're not a videography company, but we do all the little extra things that, that en enhance the events. We have a lot of lighting options for the band. We have you know, our large screen video projectors with screens for video montages. We do video montages. Sometimes the ceremony is in the same room that the reception is, and when the ceremony ends, Everybody hustles to get everything out of that room. Music certainly is important, and quality of music is important, absolutely. But I think just as important is the person who runs the party, and that's the MC, whether it's the DJ that's the MC or the, the member of the band who acts as the MC. There's a very subtle way of, of getting, getting guests involved in events. You want to do it in a way that, ladies and gentlemen, you know, for this very special first dance, our bride and groom has invited you to join us. Or, or for every dancer on the dance floor is another year of happiness for our bride and groom. Really the difference between one DJ and the next is their expertise on the music, the style of music they like, and, and how good an MC they are and whether the personality is, is what you're looking for. In the variety entertainment, we feel that the music and the MC are both important. Because the worst thing is for a bride and groom to, to go to the event not knowing if the entertainment is going to be good. When they talk to a client or see our referrals, they're going to go to their event being sure that they know that somebody had, else had a good experience and it should rest them assured that they're going to have one as well. We always tell people, you listen to the band, listen to the sound of the band, listen to the singers, but if it's a song you hate, it's not, it's not, it's not the band's fault, it's the client who, who asked for that song. I always recommend in a rectangular situation that the band is on the long wall. On a DJ, we usually like to ask for an eight by 12 riser. A four to five piece band, we usually recommend a stage size of 12 by 16. The bands can usually fit into a 20 amp circuit that nobody else is using. That means if the band is on this wall and the espresso card is over there, that we don't have enough power and we're gonna probably blow a fuse. The lighting of the room should be considered, especially from the standpoint that when that people like to dance in a in a darker in a darker environment. So what I like to do is I like to bring the lights down and have some lighting for the band so that we can have some ambience there and the band is, is still lit and people can still see the MC and understand and, and, and have have the room dark and the band or DJ in a lighter area. A variety band, I think is the way to go for a wedding. The way you'll get most people on the dance floor is provide them with songs that they like and they know. The bands and DJs need to be experienced uh, with all the formalities of weddings and understand that when they start playing a Motown song and people dance, well then they should play a couple, a couple more Motown songs. And when they play an 80s song and, and nobody dances, well maybe it's not an 80s crowd. The size of the dance floor should not be so large that when half the crowd gets on the dance floor, it's, it still looks like it's an empty dance floor. The sooner you book, the better, because there's only a certain amount of those bands that are available, and why not have your first choice of the ones that are perfect for you? Some of our other bands that are very popular, the minute they get the date, they know which ph photographer they like to use because it's the one that did their family portraits, and they know the band they, they want to use because we did their sister's wedding, or we did their brother's wedding, or did their wedding. We work with a lot of wedding planners, 
Uh, and, and each wedding planner has its, her, her, her his own style of, of doing things. And um, the more we work with wedding planners, the more we know what they like and how they like to do things. I think every bride that can afford to have a wedding planner should have one, even if they can't afford one, they should have one. Uh, not only on the day of the wedding, when you have a bride that is so frazzled and, and, and is, it wants to make sure everything's perfect, but everything before that. The wedding planner also does does that kind of thing that isn't even really their job, but it's it's being the the, the, the bride's therapist. Certainly, I think the planner is the best person to do to do that.